What's up guys, Fly here from Road Rage Studios, bringing you another Halo 4 map review. This one is Skytrax, and in between brackets, second, by the Red-Eyed Devil, and the game type used is of course Racetracks by Master Hippie. So if you watched my yesterday's video, you would have heard that, you had heard me saying that for yesterday, today, and tomorrow, uh, the uploads are going to be uh, Skytrax, first, second, and third, for um, from the Red-Eyed Devil. So they're a combination of like a series of sky tracks, because the Red Eyed Devil is a pretty talented forger, but he doesn't make many sky tracks. They're generally more um, themed and a lot shorter and always on the ground. And I really enjoy these ones. They're all roller coasters, I think. And this, if you again, if you watch yesterday's one, you will have heard me say that there was a piece on this that I really enjoyed racing on, and you will get to see it in a minute. So they're really smooth tracks, they're all roller coasters, it's very light because it's built at, right at the top of uh, Forge Island. Is it Forge Island or Forge World? I can never remember. I think it's Forge Island. Yes, I always get the two modelled up. And I think coming up here is the piece that I like, that for some reason I really liked and I think should be used more in racetracks. It's the bottom piece, here we go, right there. Look at that! Look at that! So for some reason I just really, really like that. Uh, you can see there's a bit of a different starting thing on the side. It's like the mongoose uh, scattered left and right, but instead of just being one solid piece on either side, you split them up into individual ones. Me almost falling off there. So not on to say because there's not much scenery on this map. It's the the aesthetics are non-existent on all three of these tracks. Um, but I think that the reasoning for that was the track needed a lot of pieces, seeing that they're all very long. Yesterday's one was a lot longer than this, but um, not a lot longer. But it was a decent amount longer. He's used Dominion shields on the right and left there to keep you in the track. Um, shaded them red. That's something that I just really like is when you actually put some work into the map and make them a particular colour, just to maybe in this in this case it's complete contrast to the rest of the map. Um, it's all very blue and white, and that's just bright red. Overall, I think it's just a pretty good design on the map. So, not tons more to say about this, so I'm going to move on to the links for you guys to click on. The one on the left will take you to yesterday's video, Skytrax 1, another really good map by the Red Eyed Devil. The one on the right will take you to the Halo 4 Forge map show series, we can catch up on the previous episodes if you missed them. Click on the text at the top to subscribe to never miss an upload, there's me almost falling off there. Uh, don't forget to rate the video if you enjoyed, as it really helps me out and helps grow the channel. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter to get a bit of a behind the scenes style of editing and just catch up with me a bit more in real life. So thanks for watching guys, it's been Flair from Road Rage Studios, signing off.